you know, just a quick update here. Uh, definitely going away this year prospecting in Western Australia. Just been working on the truck. Got some of these recovery tracks here for this year when I get bogged. <laughs> More than likely. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, yeah, because I've been working on the truck and getting it ready. Put myself in a new light there above my bed. Uh, new batteries. Two new 120 amp deep cycle batteries. New switches for when I'm out in the bush at night. And I leave the pumps on. I put the lights on now so I don't go to bed at night time and wake up in the morning with dramas. What else have I got here? Yeah, put a fan in because man was it hot last year. And uh, always had the fire extinguisher. What else have I done? Well, I've done all the oil, fluids, filters, uh, belts, you name it. The truck's ready to go. Just got the auto electrician coming to check out the alternator. What else? <laughs> Haven't added anything up the front. Just me radio, my new stereo for this year's trip. I've been shopping, I'll go in there in a sec and show you what I take away. Anyway, it's just an update to say that I am going. And shouldn't be long now before I leave. So hopefully this year I'll be able to get a few videos and share them online. And might crack that one out nugget with any luck. But if I don't, as long as I have a good safe journey, good fun, I'll be happy. That's the inside of my truck. Built these cabinets in the lounge room <laughs> and then brought them out here and installed them. Got a couple of water tanks, I think there's about three, yeah, 300 litres. And there's the old bed. More cupboards. Plenty of storage. Even got me fishing rod holders. And then a little skylight so I can watch the stars at night. Yeah. So anyway, I'm on my way. And these are some of the foods that I'll be taking. It's all part of the journey. You certainly don't want to get out there in the middle of nowhere and think, oh, I know what I'd like. If you haven't got it, you won't be having it. So a bit of a stockpile there. Mainly just dry foods, UHTs. Plenty of dry biscuits, that's for sure. Some cake mixes, plenty of sauces, cans of everything. Jars of this, that and the other. And a few sweet treats in there as well. So, sort that out into five piles. And that hopefully will last me. With some fresh fruit and vegetables along the way. That should last me three or four months, that lot because I've got a whole heap of meat frozen down, ready to go in the freezer. And plenty of sauces there to make up some alright meals in the bush. Keep your energy up. All the strength in the world then to find gold. Alrighty. Part of the journey. See you on the way. Two nice yellow sapphires there for you to look at out of my collection. Well, I quickly mention that the 17 inch nugget finder coil that I had last year and I broke, I sent it away to Rowan at Nugget Finder, who not only repaired it but updated it. And the best service, it was done so fast, and now I've got an even better coil to use this year. That coil has found all my gold. It's very, what would I say, universal. It gets depth, sensitivity. I mean, it might sound like I'm selling nugget finder coils here, but I'm not. I'm just uh, recognising and appreciating good service. So I can't wait to get back out there and use that coil. Thanks, Rowan, for that. I really appreciate the service. Very professional. Great coil. And remember, when you're out there this year, make sure that you take your GPS. Because I tell you, it's not the first bloke I've heard of that's gone missing out there. It all looks the same. Don't be fools. Don't think you can concentrate all day on looking for gold and think you'll know your way back. I'm telling you, you miss it by 100 metres, and the next thing you're a kilometre past it. Then you're lost. 
don't forget your GPS. Cheers, have a good safe year, best of luck.